What's up, y'all? I'm so happy to have you back for day three. This one's going to be a little fiery, so we're still building on from day two, but going to add some fun new elements to this practice. Whenever you're ready, hop on your mat and we can get started. And if you don't have time to enjoy day three right at this very moment, just add it to your watch later and check it out when you do have some spare time. All right, y'all, we'll start today's practice on all fours, tabletop position. So take your time coming into that. As always, we want the wrists right under the shoulders and the knees right below our hips. Fingertips are spread super wide and we're digging through the fingertips to take any pressure out of the wrists, digging into the tops of the feet. And now we'll inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. And exhale, round it through, tuck your chin. And now just mirroring this motion with the breath. So we're moving nice and slow in our cat cows, getting warmed up. And if it feels good to maybe take some circles with the hips going one way and reversing it, by all means, y'all take that really root into any space that you find feels really good for you. So no need to stay in the structure within the cat cows want y'all to feel empowered to really root into those variations if something feels particularly good. Maybe you bump the hips a little bit to the left and then over a little bit to the right or turn the gaze. So just lots of places to work here. might also feel really good to curl the toes under and send the hips back for a breath really stretch through the bottoms of the feet big deep breath in and a nice long deep breath out So we'll say, let's do two more of each, even it out. And then we'll come back to tabletop position. Take any adjustments you need. If you need to replace the palms, go ahead and do so. We're gonna to start to root down through the top of the left foot and inhale, send your right leg out long. So toes are pointed right towards the ground. Maybe we shift a little front to back here, feel it out on the palms. Big deep breath in. And a nice long deep breath out. If we feel good here on the palms, we can stay here. Maybe we send the left fingertips out to counter this right leg. Big inhale in. And exhale, draw your knee in towards your nose and we're gonna grab the knee with this left hand. So everything is drawing up and in. Inhale, we extend fine length. Exhale, draw it in. And if you get a little knocked off, that's okay. Left fingertips are always there to catch you. Big deep breath in. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to reach. Exhale, knee to nose. Last one, inhale to reach. This time we're gonna send right toes up towards the sky. See if we can catch the back foot with this left hand. And breathe super deep here, opening up through the front body. Really kick that right foot into the left palm. Big deep breath in. And a nice long deep breath out. 
One more big inhale here. And exhale, nice and easy, we'll release everything. Come back through tabletop position. From here, we'll anchor through the top of the right foot and inhale, send your left leg out long. And same thing here, we can feel it out, shifting a little front to back. Notice how the side could feel different. Great big deep breath in. And with your exhale, if it feels right in your body, we'll send the right fingertips out. Big inhale here with the gaze forward. Exhale, knee to nose, draw everything up and in. Inhale to extend. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale to reach. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, we reach. Exhale, draw it in. And last one, inhale to reach. Exhale, draw it in. Now we'll extend for the last time. Inhale to reach. Exhale, send left toes up towards the sky. We'll swim this right hand around, see if we can catch the back foot. Really opening up through the chest here. Big deep breath in. Nice, long, deep breath out. Another big inhale. And with your exhale, nice and slow, we'll release it. From here, we'll bring the knees as wide as your yoga mat. Big toes will come into center to touch. Inhale in. And nice and slow with your exhale, we're gonna send the hips back. Crawl the fingertips forward and melt your head and heart toward the earth. Extended child's pose. Breathe really deep here. We want to stay synced up through the breath. Just taking a moment or two here to find your breath, find a little refresher. Great big deep breath in. And a beautiful long exhale out. We'll enjoy one more big breath here. With your exhale, letting something go. Now we'll really press into the tops of the feet. Inhale to carve a line with your nose. We start to look forward, shift the hips forward. We'll walk the palms back towards center just a bit. Bring the knees back in line with the hip points. Curl your toes under and lift the hips up and back for downward dog. From here, we'll start to pedal it out. Wake up the legs. Breathe deep, let the head and neck go. Draw the navel in and up, big inhale in. And a nice long exhale out. Now we'll come to stillness in our dog. Big deep breath in. And a big breath out through the mouth this time. Maybe you even make it a big audible exhale. Just let it go. Now we'll inhale to carve a line with your nose and look forward. And exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. We'll find a generous bend in the knees here, forward fold. You can rock a little front to back or side to side. Whatever feels nice, just let the head and neck hang here. Big deep breath in. And a nice long breath out. 
We'll tuck the chin under and nice and slow, roll it up to standing. Meeting in mountain pose, fingertips are down at your sides. Big inhale to reach the fingertips all the way up. And exhale, splice it all the way down, forward fold. Inhale to lift up halfway. And exhale to fold in. Now we'll plant the palms, step one foot back and then the other, plank pose. Belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog here. Move with your breath. And with your exhale, make your way back to downward dog. All righty, from down dog, we're gonna anchor through the left foot and inhale, lift your right leg up high. Big, deep breath in. Exhale, we'll shift it forward and step it up, keeping the back knee lifted this time. Get light on your fingertips. And whenever you're ready, we'll inhale, sweep the fingers up and overhead, high lunge. Big, deep breath in. And a nice, long, deep breath out. So we still want the front knee over the front ankle. We can bend this back knee to really get your center underneath you and then send the back heel back out. Big inhale in here. And with your exhale, palms come together. We're gonna take the outer edge of your left elbow to the outer edge of your right knee. Finding a little prayer twist, lengthen through your crown. Big, full, deep breath in. And a nice, long, deep breath out. Keep here, big inhale in. Exhale, let something go. Now we'll inhale, come back through center, release the palms, reach them up, and exhale, pivot on the back foot, open it up, warrior two. Big, deep breath in, and a nice long breath out. From here, we'll flip this front palm, drop forward, up and back, peaceful warrior. Great big inhale in. A nice long exhale out. One more big deep breath in. And with this exhale, we're gonna bend the right elbow. Right forearm comes to the top of the right thigh as the left fingertips reach straight up towards the sky extended side angle keep breathing deep big inhale in if it feels right in your body with this exhale maybe we send the left fingertips towards the top edge of your mat keep your heart center pointing up towards the sky great big inhale in here and a nice long deep breath out. We'll take one more breath in here. And with your exhale, power through this front foot, we rise back up, warrior two. Inhale in. Exhale, flip the front palm, draw it forward, up and back, peaceful warrior. Inhale in here. And exhale, cartwheel it down. Plant the palms, step it back, and move through a vinyasa. Let your exhale take you back to downward facing dog. We'll inhale, carve a line with your nose, look forward, and exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. 
Inhale to lift up halfway. Really long neck here. And exhale to fold in. Now find a bend in the knees, root to rise. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, hands to heart. Awesome work, y'all. Find this grounding energy through the feet. Stand up really tall. Big, deep breath in. And a nice, long, deep breath out. We'll release the fingertips down to come up. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, splice it down, forward fold. Plant the palms, step it back to plank. Belly to cobra, chaturanga to up dog. And with your exhale, we meet in downward facing dog. This time we'll anchor through the right foot. Inhale, lift your left leg up high. Big deep breath in. Exhale, shift it forward and step it up. Keeping the back knee, back heel lifted. We'll get light on the fingers and inhale, reach it up. Big high lunge. Inhale in here. Exhale, bending that back knee to get your center underneath you and then sending that back heel back. One more big deep breath in here. And exhale, palms come together, outer edge of the right elbow to the outer edge of your left knee. Finding length through the crown, big inhale in. Nice long exhale out. Big, deep breath in. And a big, deep breath out. Now we'll inhale, come back through center. Release the palms to reach up. Inhale in. And exhale, pivot on the back foot. Open it up, warrior two. Big, deep breath in, our warrior two. And a long, nice, easy breath out. We'll flip the front palm, draw it forward, up and back, peaceful warrior. Big inhale in here. And exhale, bending this left elbow, comes to the top of the left thigh as the right fingertips reach up. Keeping lots of space between the ear and shoulder. Big inhale in. With the exhale, if it feels right in your body, maybe we send these right fingertips towards the front edge of your mat. Big deep breath in here. Nice long deep breath out. We'll take one more big inhale in. And with this exhale, power through the front foot, we rise back up, warrior two. Flip the front palm, inhale, reach it forward, up and back, peaceful warrior. Big deep breath in. And exhale, cartwheel it all the way down. Plant the palms. Step it back, move through your vinyasa. And exhale, meet me in downward facing dog. From here, we'll inhale, carve a line with the nose, look forward. And exhale, make your way to the top. Inhale to lift up halfway. Exhale to fold inward. Root to rise, inhale, reach it all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Now we're going to scooch the feet together. I'm gonna take a step back towards the middle of my mat. You can stay at the top if you like. We're gonna scooch the feet together, really together here. 
maybe just a little tiny bit of space between the heels. We've got palms at heart center, Anjali Mudra at your heart, and we're standing up nice and tall. Let's take a big deep breath in here. And then a nice long deep breath out. We're gonna to start to anchor through the left foot and inhale, come on to your right big toe. So take a second here, feel that out. Feel how it feels to really press away from the earth with the left foot. Now we'll inhale, lift your right knee for a standing one-legged Tadasana. Big deep breath in. And with your exhale, maybe we bring the sole of the right foot to the inner part of the left thigh. Virgsasana, tree pose. If this isn't available to you, we can keep right big toe on the earth and have the sole of the foot pressing into the inner part of the left ankle. We can also do sole of the foot to the inner part of your left knee. So wherever you're at today, we'll honor that. And if you wanna have a little fun with the hands, by all means, we'll take that. You can do like a mudra with the fingers or maybe we send the fingers all the way up. Just breathing super deep. Big inhale in. And exhale nice and slow. We'll unravel and release that. Rooting down through the right foot now. We'll inhale, lift this left big toe, uh, heel, lift onto the left big toe. Big deep breath in. And a nice long deep breath out. Now we'll inhale, lift your left knee, standing one legged Tadasana. Take a second here to feel that out. Big inhale in. And with your exhale, maybe we bring the sole of the left foot to the inner part of the right thigh. So opening up, choose your own adventure here. So if you wanna go sole of the foot at the ankle or knee, by all means, we'll take that. And then whatever you wanna do with the hands, if we wanna go fingertips towards the sky or hands at heart center, yogi's choice. So have a little fun with it here. Stick with your breath, keep breathing deep. We're really pressing that left foot into the right thigh if we're here. Staying connected to the core. Big deep breath in. And with your exhale, nice and easy, we'll release. Inhale to sweep the fingertips all the way up. And exhale, rain it down, forward fold. Inhale to lift up halfway. And exhale to fold in. From here, we'll bring fingertips to the earth. We're gonna lift the heels, bend your knees, and come through like this little ball shape. From here, we're gonna just swing the fingertips back. Make your way to a seat. From here, we're gonna send the palms out forward, lean back and lift your shins, boat pose. So if this isn't available to you, we can always go with fingertips interlaced behind the backs of the thighs. So we're here or we're here, but we're engaging the core, lifting the chest, big inhale in. And a nice long exhale out. We'll take one more big breath in. And with your exhale, release nice and easy. From here, we'll scooch forward and make your way down to your back nice and easy. When you get down here, we'll really snuggle the shoulder blades up underneath your heart center and walk the feet up towards your sift bones. From here, we'll plant the palms into the earth and inhale, lift your hips up towards the sky. 
Bridge pose gazes straight up or you can close the eyes, but keeping the gaze straight up. We're lifting our chest to our chins and the chin up towards the sky. Big deep breath in. And a nice long deep breath out. We'll take one more big inhale here. And exhale, release, hips down to the earth. From here, we'll send one leg out at a time and relax in Shavasana. So we're letting all the good stuff, all the nutrients from our practice really soak in. If you have the time, we'll stay here resting for five to 10 minutes. If you got a boogie, I totally get it. You can rock your way up back up to a seat. But wherever you're at, nice and easy, we'll bring the palms together. Thumbs up to your third eye. Thank you again, friends, for joining me. Have a good one. Namaste. And thank you again, friends, for joining me for day three. If you want to check out the full series, head over to our app, Yoga Plus. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30-day programs, hour-long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.